Hi, this is how I installed the LaserTree K30 laser module on my Xtool D1 non-pro machine. Um, first, you're going to want to remove the old laser module and your gantry should look like this. Be really careful uh, with that wire that's plugged into the top of the laser module that you don't break any of those little wires. They're pretty fragile. Um, but once you have it off, uh, move on to uh, wiring up the adra driver adapter board that laser tree gives you so here you can see my um, X tool motherboard and then the the uh, cable is coming out of it and I've got it kind of running up here you can see I've zip tied stuff together already and then here is the cable that used to go into my old 10 watt module and then this is a adapter wire that laser tree supplied to me. It is an eight pin to three pin. Uh, they know which, which uh, wires are supposed to go where. And um, that wire then comes down over here to the driver adapter board that they supplied. And um, I plugged it into the input C. It's a, the only three wire one. Uh, I mounted this on the side of my X-Tool frame, kind of in the middle. This might have not been the per exact place uh, that you want to do it because the wire that goes to the actual laser module is just a hair short. And um, because of that, I can't easily get it into the zero, zero home position. But uh, I never really use that position anyway, so it, it doesn't bother me. But I just use some double-sided tape, um, double-sided foam tape, and uh, just stuck it here. So if I ever have to move it or take it off, it shouldn't be too hard. And then the next thing is you've got this wire, which goes to the output of the driver board. And I guess I'll mention while I'm here, um, I'm in the uh, external setting. And that means I, it's going to use the external power supply, which because the X-Tool um, motherboard is 12 volt and the laser tree module is 24 volt, it, uh, it needs a little more power to fire the laser. So I've got this cable, which they supplied to me, and that goes here. And it's this green, um, green cable and that goes into the back or into the top of the laser tree. So uh, next step, I take this adapter plate which they sent me um, this is not the one that came in the box uh, the one that came in the box these little um, flare outs on the back were a little wider and it wouldn't fit into this but I I worked with them and they machined this and sent it out really fast um, and I think once you if you tell them you've got the d1 non pro they will um, make sure you get this when you place your order so that just goes <clears throat> right into the into the X tool gantry and I just line it up at the very bottom like that although you could go lower or higher if you want and then just flip this uh, thing to lock it in place and then I take the laser tree module and same thing just slide it slide it in there and then it comes it's got these two little screws on the side this is gonna you you're gonna use this to adjust your Z height uh, for your focus and so you'll just do that and then lastly we're just going to plug this in um, this is your air assist which I have in the other room this is not where I usually use my machine but I was just working on it out here and then finally um, you'll want to turn your X tool on I don't have a cable out here to turn it on but you know, turn it on the little light should turn on that's how you know it's on because it's not going to make any noise since you've got the laser tree module on there. And then finally, take the supplied power cord, power adapter they gave you, and you'll want to plug it into the top here. And you can hear and see that the fans kicked in and the crosshairs were there. Um, this shows your temperature of the laser module and it'll alarm if it gets too high. This just shows powers on, and then this one will fire green uh, when the laser is actively firing. So that's how you know your laser is firing. And then you'll also see a little green light 
uh, flashing on the driver adapter board that they give you. Um, I mean, that's about it. Once I got the, the uh, cables and the adapter board or adapter plate um, and we figured all that out, it was a super simple installation. And uh, it's great being able to uh, use a 30 watt module now because I went from a 10 to a 30. So now things are going hot and fast. So thanks a lot and hope you enjoy this video.